All right, so, ta-da! Um, my first NPC competition is in the books. And um, first, before I get into everything, I am super proud of how far I came. I learned a lot uh, after this first show, which I'm gonna dive into here in a second. Um, but first off, you know, I started this journey literally a year ago, a year ago, and then I had some momentum going and I was really trying to compete in May of 2020 and it didn't work out because COVID. So I pretty much said, screw it. I'm going to enjoy my summer. Got up to about 183 pounds. And then that Monday after the 4th of July, I started my journey to the NPC stage. So um, overall, uh, and it, not necessarily about weight, but especially I think for this first show, um, it was about just getting leaner and tighter um, and just trying to shed some of that weight that I had put on during the summer. So, I mean, full transparency, I was 183 the Monday after 4th of July. And for the show, I was 148 pounds. So, I mean, I lost 35 pounds in 12 weeks. So, I can't be mad about that. Um, and so, what I did for this competition... Um, you guys had seen my journey from six to five to four to three to two to one. You saw all of those weeks and things that I was dealing with at the time and the one time that I messed up and you know, you are going to mess up on your way to this stage for the first time, but it's about getting to this stage and I'm going to try not to get emotional, but getting there was getting there was the biggest obstacle and it, telling myself that I could do this. I mean, my September was a month that I could have used every excuse, that I could have used every excuse to say, I can't do this. I had work on top of work. It's football season. My husband's a football coach. I am the parent <laughs> during football season. Um, my husband's amazing, uh, but I am, you know, getting the girls to where they need to go and everything. So, um, and then I'm diabetic. And so just with all the stress with, with work and everything that was going on, I, I literally could have used every excuse, every excuse to not get to the stage. And I got to the stage. So I first am going to start with that. As you guys can see, I did place, <laughs> uh, which is great. I didn't place in bikini. So the four classes that I actually signed up for were, um, true novice bikini and open bikini and then uh true novice wellness and then uh, um open wellness so wellness is where i placed so um for my little wellness chick here this was fourth place for the true novice so there's that yay and then my big in here is fourth place overall wellness. So I can't be mad about this. Um, so it's one of those things to where uh, the one, this competition that I did participate in was the Muscle Vodka NPC Natural Northern USA competition. Dave Lieberman is awesome. He was a promoter, one of the promoters for this. Um, but you guys, this bag is like full. I mean, this is a heavy bag. Actually, I'll go through this real quick and just show you some of the things that we were able to get. So I'll just take a whole handful out. So we got little shakers. Um, we got uh, bulk supplements here. So some glutamine, vegan protein, COA, here's my COA that I drink, the peanut butter milkshake, I love that. Um, essentials, 
Bomar Nutrition. We have a, I have got a bunch of stuff from Bomar. Protein Fruity Cereal. This is a whey protein. A protein carrot cake. Um, lots of other bulk supplements. Um, got some gum in here. Got some drinks. Got some protein, sugar cookie protein bars. This is a drink, some caffeine pills. Goodness gracious, what else? A couple of the other protein bars and then we'll stop there. So this is fruity cereal crunch, 30 grams of protein, iced protein lemon bar. So you guys, again, <laughs> this is just, Full of goodies. I am so appreciative. The bag is super cool too. So um, definitely got some cool stuff there. Um, I am going to create a separate week for my peak week and then the day before the show, the day of the show. And I'm going to include all of that stuff in. Um, I may include a little bit of that in here, but even just to speak about the process, <laughs> I think I'm going to do more of that. So my peak week, we learned a lot. You guys, of course, with me being type 1 diabetic, um, we learned a lot for this first peak week. And the first three days where I did depletion for peak week, it was great. But then um, I had a carb load and we found out that white potatoes are not my friend during peak week. So that we, that is one of the things that we will be changing the next time around. Um, and then let's see what else. So peak week was fun. Um, the day before the show, I got done with work and headed over to the hotel, got everything squared away in the hotel. Um, what's really interesting is all of this stuff that I brought, you guys, I brought like five bags with me because I was afraid I was going to forget something. Um, you wear so little <laughs> on the stage, but you need so much. Um, but now, especially after going through my first one, um, I am now able to say, okay, I need this the next time. I don't need this. So that was really great. After I get done checking in, I changed all of my sheets and my towels out. Everything was white. Y'all, the spray tan is no joke. And I'll get to that here in a second. So I had black sheets, black towels. I had a dark gray, like faux king size blanket. It was perfect for the hotel room. Um, so I changed all the sheets as soon as I got in and um, changed out the towels, got everything set up. And then I prepared for my spray tan. So once I prepared for my spray tan, um, I put a, a scrub and exfoliate. I put a little scrub together to exfoliate my skin. Um, also did a little bit of baking soda and water just to do to balance out the pH levels in my skin to like make the tan better, I guess. I don't know. I was given instructions. <laughs> so, um, then I went and got my spray tan. Now, y'all, I'm not trying to scare you. If you haven't done an MPC competition, I'm just going to prepare you. So you walk into a room and there's like several pods, all like pods to where you can stand in and then there's a fan. And then you literally like strip down and nothing. So the first thing... <laughs> Everybody is nude when you walk in. <laughs> so I was, I, I know, I know that you're going to have to get the spray tan and it, like you have to get it everywhere. Like I get it, but I mean, it was, and I, you know, in college and in high school, we had to take showers after games. So, you know, I just hadn't done it since 2008, but it kind of threw me off a little bit. So I'm like, you know getting to where I need to be to get my spray tan. And then when you get your spray tan, they get every inch of you, <laughs> every 
interview. So everything goes out the window. <laughs> um, uh, the second time around when I did my touch-ups on Saturday, I was used to it by then. But like, I'll tell you what, after you get the spray tan, which is like freezing, then you go and stand in your pod that you got undressed in and then you have the fan blowing on you to dry your tan. Um, so that was fun. <laughs> okay, so there is one thing that I wanna add on the spray tanning thing that I did not add downstairs and I need to. So with the spray tan, not only was that an experience, but it's also an experience when us girls have to go to the bathroom. So nobody wants to talk about this stuff because it's an awkward conversation, but I'm talking to my phone. So <laughs> if this helps you, fantastic. If not, then, you know, you've got it down and you've done one of these before. Um, going to the bathroom is interesting because when you get a spray tan and you know that you're going to be in a very small bikini, you cannot make any errors when you go to the bathroom. I made an error. I made an error and you're going to see that in my peak week and competition video that I will post after this. But I, they told me to get a styrofoam cup and then to cut out the bottom. Well, I put the small end up. <laughs> I put the small end up first and then I tried to use the restroom. That's not the way to do it. You want to put the big end of the styrofoam cup and <laughs> and then go to the bathroom and or you can just do this is so like descriptive like spread eagle and really squat over the toilet and try not to pee all over yourself because I used a small end and I did and I literally it's this is the most interesting. <laughs> you guys, seriously, this is, it's so awkward to talk about, but y'all need to know this. If you're going to do this competition, if you're going to do an NPC competition, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks. So the styrofoam, the big part of the cup needs to be upright. So don't use the small end, use the big end because then you can fit it exactly where it needs to go so that you get no pee on you <laughs> because I did and I freaked out but that's what touch-ups are for they touched everything up it all ended up being okay but it's still kind of gross because you can't take a shower and you can't wipe it off so you just have to dab it and cross your fingers that the touch-ups <laughs> are gonna make a difference so that is the not so glorious part of spray tans so hopefully that helped <laughs> So then I ate the rest of my meals and then I was super tired. It was a super long week at work, super long day. So I went to bed after I did my nails, did my nails for the contest too. And then went to bed, got enough sleep, got up, did my own makeup, which I will show you that final here right now. There it is. So, did my own makeup, did my own hair. My hair is getting longer, thankfully. Um, I did have extensions on that were about down to here. I just put in clip-in extensions. Um, I have the best hairdresser ever. She matched my hair to my extensions. Um, I know that I talked to you guys the last time about how I was going to lighten and brighten up, and she really did. Underneath is a lot more light feeling back to my old self this was like the color of my hair in high school so so i had extensions put in and then i went to our meeting you have a meeting before the show and then the show started so um the show itself was awesome they ran it very well there were a lot of girls competing in bikini it took a lot longer than what they originally thought um, it was, there was a lot of competition, you guys, they, these girls, the stories that you hear backstage and everything that everyone had put, had gone through and like went through and all the work that they put into 
to get to that point. These stories that you hear backstage are amazing. And you really hear and respect each other for all the hard work that you've put in. Um, a lot of people didn't realize I was diabetic because I didn't, I wasn't wearing my Dex, my Dexcom or, you know, my pump. So they had no idea that I was diabetic. And they're like, oh my gosh, how did you do this? And um, the first prep I did without a pump. This prep, um, I did put my pump back on. So my abs are still, still kind of there. I've ate a lot of stuff today, guys. So got my pump going on. Um, 136 right now, which is good after all of the crap that I have ate. I went out to eat to breakfast with my coach this morning because it's been a year since he's been my coach too. So, so yeah, so we did all of that. Um, went through the competition. Like I said, I placed fourth and two out of the four of my classes. I didn't place in my other two. I have some work to do and I have to tighten up a bit. And, um, overall the competition at first, since I'm super competitive, I was like looking at my coach like just maybe this isn't for me. I was like down on myself and then um, I got pictures and videos from one of my girls that actually showed up to cheer me on and I said, you know what, I'm so proud of what I was able to accomplish in 12 weeks and with all this stuff going on and COVID and gosh, you guys, there could have been so many excuses that I could have made for this. Um, but now I, I have work to do, and my goal is to get back up on stage December 5th. Um, definitely plan on getting back on stage now. It, it took me a minute to let everything sink in, so I didn't want to make a video in the hotel room. I wanted to enjoy the night. As soon as I got back to the hotel after the competition, which that wasn't until like 1030, because our finals didn't start until 8 p.m., um, but the finals and everything went through smoothly, pre-judging, then finals that day, and, um, went back to the hotel. First thing I did, I got into the shower, <laughs> uh, washed the tan off. I'm still got a lot of it going on here. Um, but washed the tan off, got all of my diabetic supplies on, and then I chowed down on some Doritos, had half a cookie, had a few Buckeyes, a chocolate covered Oreo. Did I say Doritos? <laughs> um, let me think. Oh, caramel popcorn. Had a little bit of that. So I had a little bit of everything. So um, definitely enjoyed that. I'm going to eat some dinner with my family today. This is a complete off day. No meal plan, no rules, anything, no working out. And then tomorrow I'm starting back up. So from yesterday, it was nine weeks until this next competition. Um, tomorrow, I am going to let my body rest uh, for a full day back on the meal plan. Um, I'm not going to try to fix anything that I did these past 24 hours. I'm just going to get back to work. Um, I have to get these puppies in shape. Um, everything from here up, like my abs and everything came in like pretty good. But my arms and my my arms are okay. So it's like, like this was the best. This was good. This was eh. Which I knew was going to happen, guys. So you're not always going to be perfect going into your first show. Don't think that you have to be perfect going into your first show. It's not about being perfect. It's about knowing how far you have come and knowing that you can get there and that you can do it. And, um, feeling proud of yourself that you've accomplished something after having kids, after having, um, a health comp, I don't know if you call it a health complication after having diabetes, a very busy work schedule and a very busy family life. Stop making excuses. You can do it. You can do it as long as you believe in yourself. Stop comparing yourself to other people. It's so hard when you get it. <laughs> it was so hard during the competition not to sit there and compare myself to a girl that was in college that was 20 that didn't have babies and she had this cute little waist and no extra skin and just 
it's so hard to not compare, but you have to think about your journey. You have to focus on your journey. You have to focus on getting better for you. And I feel like everything's falling into place as I'm slowly starting to understand that. So if anyone is watching this, trust me, you guys, this can happen for you. Be proud of how far you've come and just, if you want to improve, improve and do it, do it because you know, the more excuses that we make, it, it's just going to hold you back. And, um, you can do this. You can do it. If, if I can, if I can do this, you guys, I'm obsessed with food. Um, if I can do this, anybody can do this. Just set goals for yourself, achieve them. Um, and I hope this helps somebody. I'm not going to do a week by week for my next competition, but I will do a check-in um, maybe a couple weeks before my competition and then obviously peak week and competition and everything. But I'm proud of this. I'm proud of it. So um, I just know that I have work to do and I'm going to do it. I'm going to put the work in, going to get these puppies stronger and tighter and come back December 5th with an even better package because that's all I can do is focus on this and this. Ooh, still got a tan. So have a good one. I hope everyone has appreciated these last six weeks. And thank you, thank you for all of the support. Thank you to my coach. Thank you to Mike. Thank you to my husband and my girls, my family. Um, they all were watching on the pay-per-view. My mom, my dad, my sister, um, and her family. So Thank you guys so much for all of the support. Thank you for coming out and supporting me as well. Um, I am so lucky and um, I'm just very humbled and grateful for this entire experience.